First focus, uh, to better understand and manage conception. And for this, I leave uh, Mr. Van Egmond uh, talk about the solution aqua battery. Yeah, perfect. So, uh, well, thank you for the opportunity. Um, so I am Jan Millen van Egmond. I'm head of technology at Aqua Battery. And uh, what we do at Aqua Battery is we create a system, a battery system based on seawater. And the way our system works is that we can take seawater and by spending excess power from the grid, we can create acid and base from it. And when we need the power back, we can just reverse the process and convert the acid and base back into salt water again. Now, um, our system consists of a membrane module and a big reservoir with salt water. And uh, using seawater as a resource gives us uh, quite some nice advantages over other uh, battery systems. And um, one of them, of course, is that you don't use, uh, use any precious metals. Um, uh, another one is that it's environmental friendly. Uh, but also a very interesting one is that we can decouple power from energy. And basically it means that we can, um, we can tailor made our system to any application you need. So if you need a discharge, for 10 hours, we can do it. If you need discharge for 24 hours, not a problem, or even 72. Um, and this is something that not many other competitors can do. Um, so far, we've installed uh, two pilots, one in the Netherlands and one on the island of Pantelleria in Italy. And we're working on a third project now. Um, uh, so in, yeah, basically, in summary, we can make a scalable, environmental friendly system with, uh, with a long discharge. Um, at the moment, we're still developing. So if you don't mind, uh, go to the next slide. We realize that uh, we, got, we get emails very often uh, with people say, oh, can you please sell us our battery already? And then we have to say, unfortunately not, because we're in development. Um, so what we did is we, we scoured the market and, and we thought, okay, what solution is maybe not ideal, but already available today and sustainable. And we found out that the nickel iron chemistry is a very sustainable option. Uh, so what we did is we, we made a module of that as well. Um, you can see it in the picture. And uh, we're selling this too uh, for, a, yeah, for, for extra revenue. And, and basically we can fund uh, the development of our primary or of, the, of the core of the company with this, uh, with this product line. Uh, so yeah, so basically we can sell systems today and we're developing the battery for, uh, for tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you for this uh, short presentation and, and for respecting this time of few, two minutes. It's not very easy to start. Um, so I see that you tested this uh, device uh, in Pantelleria Island in uh, Italy. Yeah. Uh, have, you, have you also the occasion to test uh, this device on very tiny and small island? Uh, yeah, so the Pantelleria is, is not a big island. Well, uh, yeah, uh, well I'm, I'm not sure what you consider big or small. Um, uh, but the, the system itself, it's, it's, it's about the size of a sea container. So, yeah, you can, you can place it anywhere you like. Okay, thank you. I will not ask a lot of questions. And so, uh, because the idea is to leave, uh, to leave uh, the audience ask you very concrete uh, uh, questions. So I move directly to the next speaker, which is Mr. Clément from PTS Technology. Okay. Thank you. The, uh, the floor is yours. Okay. Hi everyone. I'm Simon Clement. I'm the engineer at uh, PTS Technology in charge of uh, your uh, generator systems. Uh, so if you can please uh, move to the next slide. Um, so uh, your goal at uh, PTS is to develop uh, generators particularly adapted to renewable energies uh, because today conventional uh, systems are meant for, uh, you know, to rotate at very high speeds to convert mechanical energy into electricity. So we develop generators producing electricity, specially designed for renewable energy, such as wind power, hydro power, uh, marine currents, and wind turbines, uh, to uh, tackle the problem today that current generators have low efficiencies at those um, speeds and variable speeds. Uh, high maintenance costs and have a lot of wear arts elements 
which pose problems in terms of uh, sovereignty uh, because it's under uh, mostly Chinese uh, monopoly and, and there's a lot of cost volatility. So the solution we develop, uh, we are now at the stage of uh, uh, the end of its development and demonstration. Uh, so you can move on to the next one. And uh, so we are installing right now your earlier system. We have a, a first prototype uh, at the, the one before. Sorry. We have a first prototype installed on, uh, yes, on the first uh, French wave uh, energy converter, which is right now being tested at sea. Uh, we also have a project on the next slide uh, uh, to generate electricity from uh, dipes. Uh, which protect uh, seashore, uh, and then uh, okay, the next one. Okay, so that's the dike generated electricity, and we have another project on the next slide, um, which is uh, okay. Yes, so which is with the uh, Resolute Marine, who's actually going to talk a bit later today. Uh, and this is a project to do wave-powered uh, AUV recharging stations. And finally, uh, on the last slide, uh, we are developing our technology and scaling it up for uh, offshore wind power. And for this project, which requires funding, we are looking for sponsors and partners. Thank you, and uh, I'll answer your questions uh, happily. Thank you. So if I understood well, uh, most of the projects you're talking are uh, under development. And uh, sorry, I'm going to switch on my camera because it's nicer to talk. <laughs> eyes in eyes. Um, so most of the projects you were talking are uh, under development or some of them are been already tested. And uh, if yes, uh, on some islands specifically. So today it is only, uh, it's only being tested in, on one system, which is uh, on the coast of France. So it's not on an island uh, yet. Uh, and we are still in you know, a bit early R&D phase, uh, but are hoping to have a first prototype uh, operational, actually in the project with the Resolute Marine by the end of 2022, beginning of 2023. Uh, and then we can you know, install it on other platforms. Thank you for your uh, precisions. 